solve some problems here. Suppose milk is selling for 87.5 cents per liter. How many liters can you buy with $20? To solve this, we just have to divide $20 by 87.5 cents. So let's convert 87.5 cents to dollars. So there is 100 cents in one dollar. So we divide this by 100. Okay, this cancels out. So 87.5 cents is just equal to 0.875 dollar. And now let's divide 20 twenty dollars by point eight seven five and you can do this by using the long division so the answer here is just twenty two point nine liters because it says a point eight uh point eight seventy five dollar per liter so we don't have 22.9 in our choices, so we just have to round off 22.9 to approximately 23 liters. So the answer is letter D. Find the result of 15 times 1.5 minus 0.2 times 30.1 plus 0 0.0625 divided by 0 0.625. Now to solve this problem here, we just have to recall the order of operations or what we call the PEMDAS. So in here, uh, we have to perform the operations inside the parenthesis and then exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. For multiplication and division, as well as addition and subtraction, you just have to solve it from left to right. So in the given problem, we don't have parentheses and exponents here, but we have multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So we have to solve um, the multiplication and division or perform the multiplication and division operations first from left to right. So we perform this first, this one, and then this one. After that, we can add and subtract. Okay, let's solve this. So we perform this first, and then this one next, and then this one. Or you can group them in a parenthesis like this so you won't be confused so that is 15 times 1.5 which is just equal to 22.5 minus 0.2 times 30 point this is just equal to 6.02 plus 0 0.0625 divided by 0 0.625 and this is just equal to 0.1. And now we can perform the addition and subtraction operations from, again, from left to right. So that would be 22.5 minus 6.02. So this is just equal to 16.48 plus 0 0.1. So this one is just equal to 16.48. 58. So this is our answer. So the answer here is letter C. This one. Jürgen is twice as old as Francine, who is 8 years old. Add their ages, subtract 6, and divide by 3. What is the result? So it's given here that Francine's age is 8. And Jürgen's age is just twice as old as Francine. So that is 2 times 8. 
which is 16. So Jurgen's age is 16. So let's write this one, this sentence here, um, into a mathematical equation. It says add their ages. So that is our step one. We add 8 and 16, which is just equal to 24. And then subtract 6. So 24 minus 6. And that is equal to 18. And then divide by 3. So 18 divided by 3. Which is just equal to 6. So the result here is 6. The answer is letter D. Find the result of the following calculation. 22 over 9 divided by 11 over 3 minus 1 fourth divided by 1 eighth. So let's write this mathematically first and also this one. So that would be 22 over 9 divided by 11 over 3 minus 1 fourth divided by 1 eighth. Now let's solve this first. 22 over 9 divided by 11 over 3. So 22 over 9 divided by 11 over 3 is just equal to 22 over 9 times 3 over 11. And 22 is divisible by 11. So 22 divided by 11 is just 2. And then 9 is divisible by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So this is just equal to 2 thirds. Therefore, this one here is just equal to two-thirds. So this is two over three. And now let's solve one-fourth over one-eighth. This one here. This one. So one-fourth divided by one-eighth is just equal to one-fourth times eight over one. And 8 is divisible by 4. So 8 divided by 4 is just equal to 2. So this is just 2 over 1 or just equal to 2. Therefore, 1 fourth divided by 1 over 8 is just equal to 2. So this is just equal to 2. Okay, therefore... This expression here is just equal to 2 third minus 2. And now we can perform or solve this expression. So 2 third minus 2, we get the LCD which is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1 times 2, that is 2. Then copy the operator sign minus. This, um, the denominator of 2 here is considered 1. So 3 divided by 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 2 minus 6 is negative 4 over 3. So our answer is negative 4 over 3. So the answer here is letter C. The volume of a cylinder is expressed by the formula V equals 3.14 times R squared over H, where V stands for volume, R is the radius, and H is the height of the cylinder. Suppose the volume of a cylinder is known to be 141.3 cubic meters and its height is 5 meters, find the radius. So we're given here the formula of the volume which is equal to 3.14 times r squared h where r is the radius and h is the height and we're also given the volume the value of the volume and the height we just have to solve for the radius so we can plug in the given values here so our volume is just equal to 
3.3 cubic meters equals 3.14. We don't know the radius. Times height, which is 5 meters. Okay, so this is 141.3 cubic meters. 3.14 times 5 is just equal to 15.7 meters times the radius and uh, now to solve for the radius we just have to divide both sides by 15.7 meters this cancels out okay so now our radius squared is just equal to 141.3 square meters over 15.7 again you can use the long division in dividing 141.3 by 15.7 okay so the answer here is just equal to 9 square meters and now to solve for the radius we just have to square root both sides so that would be square root of 9 is just equal to 3 so 3 meters Therefore, the value of the radius is equal to 3 meters, which is letter B. Find the result for 0 0.0625 divided by 5 minus 0 0.125 times 3 plus 0 0.099 divided by 0 0.011. So in this case, we need to um, recall the order of operations which is the PEMDAS so we don't have parentheses and exponents here but we have multiplication division addition and subtraction so we just have to perform the multiplication and division first from left to right so we perform this first this one and this one before we can add them and subtract which is also from left to right Okay, let's do that. We can always, uh, you can always group them by using a parenthesis like this. So you won't be confused. Okay, so let's start with 0 0.0625 divided by 5. So this is just equal to 0 0.0125 minus 0 0.125 times which is just equal to 0 0.375 plus 0 0.099 divided by 0 0.011. And that is just equal to 9. And now we can perform the addition and subtraction from left to right. So this one is just equal to negative 0 0.3625 plus 9. And this is just equal to 8.6375. So this is our answer. So the answer here is this one, letter C.